Welcome back to Pacific Drive. Our mission at the moment is simply to chart new roads, explore the zone, find out what our options are, because at the moment we don't have a way forwards. So we're going to head up here to this unexplored junction, E6 train station, which reportedly has heavy fog, and aside from that, nothing in particular to worry about. Of course, you should worry about everything, at least a little bit. I bet the fog is going to look really cool. I love how fog looks with nice volumetric lights. Train station, town center, damp forest, outer zone. Ah. Feels like I'm arriving in Silent Hill. Let's take a look at what we've got. Three things of energy. Looks like the bulk of this location is clustered around here. That's going to be great for resources. I do wonder about these little outskirt places. Do they have more loot because they are outskirt places? Are they special? Or would they just be a waste of time? I don't know, but it looks pretty clear that I should just head straight and just loot this whole place. And then I'll try to gather all this energy. Curious what's going on here, why this is dotted. Is it like a dirt road or broken or something? I don't know, but it looks like it goes over a quite a steep mountain. Holy moly, holy moly, are you kidding me right now? Poppy, you saw it too, didn't you? Tell me you saw it too. Saw what? What do you mean, what? It, it, hallucinations! Like the ones from 1961! It happened again, just a quick blip, like blinking your- Wait. You didn't see it? I was in a total blackout. Colossal Cappy fried my systems. Right, because sending the driver headfirst into Cappy didn't work out like you said it would. Big surprise. Oh, spare me, Francis. The driver's alive and your remnants verified. Isn't that all you wanted? Now, why are you two yapping about the mass hallucination? When Cappy amplified the remnant's signal, it triggered another hallucination event. But it only lasted three seconds this time. And, and not only that, we picked up that its source was northwest of us. Specifically... Yeah, somewhere in the deep zone. That's impossible. It's been... 40 years. I guess that's our ultimate goal, then? There is a crap ton of stuff in here. I'm glad I decided to loot it. What is this? A brick wall. Hint, put in detailing station to equip. Oh, it's like a little knickknack I can probably put on the dash. Gray paint. Ah, oh, gray. Beautiful. Wood panel decals. That could be pretty. Or tacky. Not sure which. Not all. This hallucination wave that triggered... We picked up its waveform. And it turns out it's equal and opposite to the remnant's waveform. They're paired signals. It means they're related. And, and, and what's more, if we bring that car to whatever this mass hallucination source is, we have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its bond with the driver. A simple destructive interference. <laughs> this is insane! After all this time, we find a remnant, a uh, lead on the mass hallucinations of 61, and a possible way to free the driver? Bitch me, Francis, because this is the best thing that's happened in decades. Just when things were getting dull. The remnant it was a key to the mass hallucination this whole time. Yes, and you nearly destroyed it. <clears throat> I... I need to go. This is you, Princess! We have so much work to do. I know, I've already pulled every report on the mass hallucination event. Uh, driver, listen, you stay safe out there. We'll report back to you once we've gone through all of this data. <laughs> There's a lot of it. And, 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 and be careful. Oppie's not in the right mind, okay? So, uh, watch yourself. Okay. I haven't logged the fuel tank. Isn't this supposed to log it? Why isn't that checking the log box? Yeah, I'm trying to get as much rubber as possible, because that seems to be something I'm chronically low on. Yep, 
Oh, hello. Some nice huge tires. Might have to make another scrapper soon. Do I have the stuff for that? Oh, I do. Thank God. Oh, that's what the dotted line means. It's a tunnel. Hello. Well, I don't need those gigantic things. Those are not worth taking. They're so huge. Oh, battery jumper, yes. Paint paint stripper. Wait, does that mean you have to strip off paint before you can put on a different color? Or can you just paint over paint over paint over paint until it becomes thicker than the metal itself? That'd be interesting. The succulent. I think that's something I probably hang from the rearview mirror. Remember how there's a quirk that our car has, and I don't know what it is. Still wondering what it is. Okay, that road to the side will go to all the power. But let's keep going forwards. What's going on over there? Oh, it's the geyser things. Yeah, let's go to the main town up ahead. Oh. That's fine. Yeah, pretty much can stop anywhere. Ah, I don't need to park it. I think I've looted enough, because I don't think I can really hold much more. Let's go here. I can probably just drive straight there. pretty steep oh yeah that's that's quite steep
Uh, I can try, but I don't think we're gonna make it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. No, no, no. Pull in the handbrake. Slow down. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Wait, this I might be able to do. This doesn't look too bad. Nope. Gently, gently, gently. Summer tires aren't exactly great for off-roading. Almost there. come up under my car could flip me I love these patches of heavier fog Okay, we're almost there. Should be two energy sources quite near to each other. Think I'll go in on foot from here. God. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Uh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Whew, thank God my car is so heavy. Second energy source. Oh, hey, I suppose I could throw it, huh? All right, then.
There's one more there. Hmm. Oh no. Alright. We grinded ourselves on that guardrail for a second, but we're fine. Didn't get stuck. Where are we exiting? Yeah. Let's do there. Hairpin turns. All right, we're good, we're good. Point six stable energy. Nice. I... I owe you an apology. I screwed up. I nearly got you killed. The things I used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver, they're foggy now. The numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. I haven't been myself for a long time, but I haven't needed to be. It's been me and this cursed place I created and nothing else for decades. But now, knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there, I need to know what it is, and why the remnants are connected to it. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucinations paired signals. If we can get them together, maybe they'll cancel each other out and you'll be free. It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only lead we've got for now. You can do nothing and twiddle your thumbs until that remnant drives you mad. Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance to survive this thing. Think it through, and fix up your car while you're doing it. You'll need to for whatever you decide from here. Researched side storage. Let's make it. I'm guessing this gets installed on the rack. Yeah. 
So how much does that hold? Okay, a decent little amount. And I imagine I could install a lot of these storage racks. Replaced a bunch of the crude doors and bumpers with steel ones. And I also think I just discovered a cork. I don't know if it's the cork or a new one. But when I close the back door, it honks. Trunk is closed. Horn honks. Correct diagnosis. Yeah. What's the fix? Electrician's kit. Which I don't have. Oh, I think I just um, got rid of one. Because it seems like I was never using it. Should be easy enough to make another. Wait, can I not make them? I guess all the ones I've seen I've just found. Oh, what a beauty. Installed a couple accessories. We got this little bobble thing. And this little succulent. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I gotta start the car and see if these, like, wobble around. Yeah, they do. The fax machine is beeping. Does that mean we have a new message? Yeah. Signal is failing. Turn up the... Don't know what the hell that is. Okay, so we occasionally receive new faxes. I wonder if that has any connection to the faxes that I put into the machine? Or if it's just when you come back to base, sometimes they're there. One of the things I researched is a relightable flare. I'm curious how that works. Can you relight it forever? Can you only relight it once? Let's try it. Wait, so this is a... It's a flashlight. I mean, it's got a ring around it to direct the glow. It's basically a flashlight. Oh, it has durability is how it works. You can see on the bottom left, it's going down. Oh, that's really cool. So it's just a very limited flashlight. Oh, this is great. So much better than a normal flare. If you're ready to do this with me, here's a spot of good news. We aren't completely helpless when it comes to the instability. Back when the zone was active, we built ways to get where we needed to go. I need you to head back towards Sierra. But don't worry, I won't make you jump into Cappy again. When you're feeling up for it, take the route back to Sierra. I'll tell you what's next once you're there. A mass hallucination. I can't believe it happened again. I can't believe I missed it. Looks like we've got heavy fog here as well. Other than that, seems okay. Let's head out there. Roads, remote, damp forest, outer zone. I wonder if loot comes back when you come back to a zone. Oh, now with the fog and the headlights and it being nighttime, it looks even cooler. So, what are we working with? We've got two power sources. I want to gather those. Um, there's one ingredient in particular that I'm really low on, and that's chemicals. Is that a hospital? I see a little plus sign. Let's go check it out. A hospital would probably have chemicals. I don't know. The uh, like Arda trailers tend to have chemicals because they have chemical supply closets.
What the heck is this? Repair stop? Journal fragment. 1961. This spring has been an absolute whirlwind of work, and I don't think we've ever been more in sync with the engineering teams. Our progress has been terrific. And this week, we had our first visit from Dr. Ophelia Turner, who wanted to see some of our new designs for herself. And it was just as we'd perfected waveform stability for the projected regenerative electromagnetic fields. The result was a lot of hair raising on the back of necks, along with more than a few strengthened steel panels. We partially reconstituted several alloys at distances of up to six feet, which was even more than we had projected. The timing couldn't have been better. Dr. Turner is without a doubt a brilliant scientist, and it felt so satisfying to be able to impress her in person with our applications of her own technology. I really hope our teams can work together on this more, because her insights into how we could achieve better projection and more stable waveforms already have me working on a redesign. Could this repair our car, then? Shock absorber shifter. Oh, that looks weird. Government yellow paint. What's government yellow? Right. The honk. Aren't these maybe trailers? These things with the radar dishes on them. Not sure. Let's go check them out. I thought that seemed like a long way that I was going. Oh well. Let's come get this energy then. Oh, there's a radar dish place up here. Let's check that out and see if it's one of those trailers. Oh! Oh, oh shit. That's new. What are you? Wriggling Wreck. Teletype auto script. It's a trap. It's a goddamn trap. It's a monster. This place is learning how to ambush us. You know what that means? It means it doesn't want us here. 
This place doesn't want us. A whole ass part of the world is rejecting us, trying to get rid of us, trying to push us out. Think about that for a moment. That's horrific. This thing was like some kind of wicked new wildlife, ready to spring at us, but only us. Except you know what? It's not like wildlife. You ever notice how these anomalies don't attack one another? When have you ever seen them fight? Wildlife is an ecosystem, infinite parts responding to one another. The anomalies? Listen to me. That's the zone uniting against us. So is it any time I get close? Let's go. You broke your own power source. And yeah, it would appear the rail, the, um, rail, what? The radar dish places are the trailers, which tend to have particularly good loot. Hmm. Radiation. Having a flashlight makes things a lot nicer, doesn't it? It's too bad I have to unequip it to use tools. Chemicals. Source right up ahead. Hmm. That might be new. Some spiky ball thing. Can opener. Oh, did that reach the car? I think it did. Oh shit. Alright, hold on. Stop it. Stop it. Did it do a bunch of damage to it? How you doing? No, seems okay. Lights still work as well. Electronics seem fine. Okay. Tell me about this can opener. Can anybody hear us? We're still inside the cabin. One of those things is tearing up the ground outside and it doesn't stop. 
and went through Baxter like, like when you walk through tall grass. Like he wasn't there. Oh God. Come in. Come in, Control. Can you hear us? You have to understand, they escaped containment. The anomalies escaped. They escaped. They all escaped. Okay. Well, that information isn't very helpful. I guess I just avoid it. Can it see? Does it come for you? Or does it just do its thing? And if you happen to be in the way, then... Sucks for you. Okay, okay. Where are we going? We are going here. Okay, I think we're safe here now. Yeah, I could take this road and go check out all these trailers, but it's kind of a long drive, and I'm sure I'll find more in the next zone. Nah. I think you just have to escape its trap, and then it's it's been sprung and it doesn't come back. Oh, that red line is the line where that can opener goes. Two serum. standing between where we are and the deep zone. Like another wall and the entire mid zone, for starters. It's not as simple as driving there. We can't control the instability any more than we can control the weather. At the height of Lim R&D, thousands of us lived and worked here in the zone. So we built limb stabilizers to make certain sectors and roads a little more predictable than others. It's the only way we could operate as a live research compound despite the instability. And yes, the same technology that destabilized the landscape in the first place. The technology was always a double-edged sword from the beginning. We're going to put those stabilizers to work and clear you a path. The old observation towers surrounding Sierra Mora have a map of the stabilizers in that sector. Mind swinging by and finding one? Of course, of course. Find the observation tower overlooking Sierra. Alright, there's two things of power here. And there's the observation place. Oh, I think we need to go backwards. Looks like the best way to get there is from this road. Yeah. Um, I do want to go check out these trailers, though. It's a whole bunch of them.
Can I just bash through here? Yeah. Man, that weather is not looking too good, huh? I love the sound of it, though, from inside the car. Uh, I want to see if I can craft another one of these relightable flares. I can, thank God. Because that one's going to run out really soon. I know that this is supposed to be some, like, happy, bouncy um, shifter, but to me it just looks like a worm, like a grub or something with a smiley face. Just a weird little grub dude. I don't like it. It's disturbing. What do these light housings have in them again? Oh, and we have uh, a new... Facts? Theories, number one. I have it all figured out. Anomalies are like forces of nature. They're dumb things that happen, but without intelligence. Like, is the wind planning anything when it blows at you? No, it's just the wind. Same for the rain. Sure, it's part of a complex meteorological system, but that doesn't mean it has a brain. Not convinced? Fine, because I have proof that the anomalies are like weather. And just like the weather, they're manufactured and controlled by government installations hidden in the mountains. Those fake, hollow mountains, hollowed out by the cowmen. Okay, had me in the first part. Copper, scrap... Is, is that it? Okay, yeah, that's not worth looting. Wait. The light housing. What about compared to the sodium vapor light? I think if you suck that... Yeah, okay, so if you suck it, it gives you, like, bulbs and stuff. But I guess if you break it with the scrapper, it does something different. I wonder if the ones that don't have locks on them maybe have worse loot. Oh, that's so cool! When it's near the end of its life, it has less light output. That's a lovely little detail. Well, this thing's gonna break soon. Oh, it's gonna break now. I hope I can make another one. Because I'm surely going to need that. Yes, I can. Wait, did I actually make it? Where is it, though? Maybe I didn't... Oh, I think it just made some of the uh, prerequisites rather than actually making it. Now I made it.
Oh, Jesus. That's enough looting. Let's head back up here to this junction and then take a right. I think we can take a shortcut. Oh, I think I overshot the road. A little bit, yeah. The road is very slight. Here it is. Take a right, and then just follow it straight. the tower. The towers are locked up tight, but you can tighten up security protocols all day only for one disgruntled employee to program in his name for fun and mess it all up. Anyway, the overload code is 4735. Find that stabilizer map and scan it for me. Uh, oh boy. I was assigned to clean these towers out every time the guards rotated. And things I saw... Let's just say that keeping a watch on Sierra day in and day out did not make for a good time. I didn't envy those guards one bit. Stop throwing it. I'm pressing the wrong button. I got it. I'm overlaying the map with the available routes near you. What do you do? You Found three sector stabilizers that'll do the job. They're not too far, so I've added the location to your route. The access road will lead you straight there once you're ready. Awesome. What was that? I think that's a friendly garbage dump down there. Anyway, this turns pressurized cartridges into plastic. Is that good? I don't 
know. Do I need plastic? I don't know. I have pressurized cartridges, but they're downstairs. I don't really care to go get them and lug them up. So, meh. Wait, where's that dumpster? Oh, there it is. Whoa. Crap ton of food? And plastic. And batteries. Thank you. Okay, so we just need to head to the exit. And we have some things of power that I'd like to get. Can I just head straight there? Uh, maybe I should head here first and then I'll go down the hill. Okay, from here, we head here. It's pretty steep. So let's be careful, using my handbrake. Ooh. Not bad. Is there something I can loot there? Interesting looking lab equipment. Lead shielding. This is ridiculous. We have transformed from a team of skilled scientists into day trippers with test tubes and sample kits. We must set up everything on site. We haul out equipment, computers, materials. We have these dreadful mobile laboratory trucks that are so generic in design they end up helping nobody do their work. The latest fieldwork solution is apparently to have us erect giant walls of lead behind which we are supposed to perform direct observation of the latest anomalies. We must rush out in response to the latest sighting, build these things like we would a snow fort in winter, then hope to get enough readings and data before another EMP shorts everything. It's utterly ridiculous. We don't even have equipment capable of helping us move and deploy all this other equipment. And of course, setup takes so long that whatever we hope to catch is often long gone. That or is, it has taken far too much of an interest in us for anyone to be able to work safely. Just 
Like one bit of scrap metal? Okay. I think you can make lead shielding or you need it. I need to have discovered it for some sort of research thing. I remember that being a prerequisite. Oh no. Okay, they let go pretty fast. Not too bad, that could have been a lot worse. is apparently damaged. That's fine, I suppose. Oh. That's unnerving. I don't like how low my battery is. Let's fix that. Oh, Jesus. Fucking hell. Whoa! Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Alright, alright, alright. We're fine. We're fine. Yep. There we go. Oh, they're still there, aren't they? Hold on a second. Can I deal with them? Broken bunny. Bonk. <laughs> Scrap you? The surfboard. Interesting. Yeah, the hood's not too bad. I haven't listened to the radio in a while. We've heard this song before, though. Let's get a different one. Oh, that's a lot of abductors. I'm on the right road, actually. I need to go forwards. Just not 
straightforwards. These might have special things, I figure. Do they have particularly good loot because they like special wrecks? Uh, not exactly that special. Oh, but they do have armored panels, which if I had the Liberator, I could take them off and attach them to my car without destroying them. What is that tower over there? It looks special. Extra special. another flashlight. Pry bar into lead platelet. No thanks. Yeah, pretty much just follow the road. I love the sound of the stones glancing off the window. Pavement.
Let's head on over to the blistering woods. The woods there can be a bit of a maze. If you get lost, follow the pipes. The limb tech and those stabilizers ran so damn hot, only more limb tech could contain it from complete meltdown. Sorry to leave you in the middle of a mission, but I'm going to end the episode there because this one is super long and I need to go to bed. So I hope you've enjoyed so far and when I return, we're going to try to turn on an old zone stabilizer.